this guy was doing a DoorDash delivery, and uh, it was his first time working for DoorDash. And uh, the person he was delivering to wanted it delivered outside, and he, I guess he he stuck around. You know, he's new, so he wants to make sure he's doing everything right. So he stick or, stuck around, and he's recording. You know waiting for the person to come out and get their food. And all of a sudden, on the side of this apartment building, you see this girl's head come out the window. And then the rest of her body, she... Like kinda, slid out. Yeah, she comes down. <laughs> she comes down like head first for right. a while and then turns herself around right. and lands on her feet. And then she's looking and you can tell she's like, she looks like she's tiptoeing a little bit and she's sneaking out to pick up her food and then go back and go in through the window and everybody on TikTok's trying to figure out what is this about? Why is she doing this? And currently the most popular theory is she is trying to get some food that she doesn't want to share with anybody else inside. <laughs> oh. And that makes the most sense to me. A Otherwise, I mean, delivery. what else would you do that for? You think that's you think that's what it is? Well, that's what well, At first what... I thought she was too high. But then I kind of see because when she walks toward the Instacart or the delivery driver, whoever it was. Yeah. Um, I thought she was. Sorry, I was trying to share it. I thought she was walk of shaming. I thought that she was absolutely obliterated with drugs or alcohol, but she's so steady. Yeah. Once which she is gets why out. You can tell she's not yeah, she's drunk or anything like that. It's just she did a she slithered out the side window and slithered back in, I guess. <laughs> That's hilarious. definitely a sneak eating situation. It's got to be, right? Yeah. But the thing is, you can't sneak eat if it's hot because everybody's going to smell no, it. She... And number two, you, it's just like you can't sneak smoke, which I tried to do in high school in my bedroom. <laughs> that doesn't work. I think, yeah. I think she's at somebody's house she's not supposed to be at. Oh. oh. They have a ring doorbell camera. So she can't answer the door because whoever the other chick is is going to see her on the ring doorbell if she's at the front door. So she uh, low oh. crawls out and back in the window. She's a side chick. Absolutely she is. That's an, that's an interesting theory. Although I will say I have experience in like hiding food or something. So I tend to understand that thing a little more. Because if you're hiding food... Hey, just put this by on the air conditioner that's sitting in the window, and I'll roll up the window, reach my hand out, and grab it. Okay. Um, All right. Instead of climbing through the window and back out. Yeah. Maybe that was a strange instruction to give, though, she thought. Because, I mean... Could be. She looked completely normal to me. Seemed absolutely fine outside of the climbing out the window part. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know what to think. Uh, again, I'm just... When I say... Uh, you know, maybe she was she didn't want to share her food with anybody else inside. That's just the most popular theory on the TikTok feed. Uh, All right, so let me ask it. you this: Have you guys ever hid food in your house so nobody else will find it? Yeah, I do or it like, all the time. Do you? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah. it doesn't get like inhaled by yeah. the teenagers in your house. I, I just fortunately never had to do that. Yes, but I can see why you would do that. Right now, I have I'm raving about the cinnamon churro Oreos. Guess where those bad boys are? In hidden. Ryan's stomach. No, oh, okay. hidden, so they don't get there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't hide. I I never hide out of fear that Charlie will eat it before me. He just, he doesn't like the same things I do. So I don't need to hide it for that reason, but I hide because I'm embarrassed. Like if I buy a giant thing of M&Ms, I'm in that I'm such a child that I'm going to like absolutely inhale a gigantic family size bag of M&Ms. So I just strategically place other things in the cupboard in front of it. So I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> so I do that. Also, I am known to always go to the grocery store and have a drive home treat. I got to eat something on the way home from the grocery store, even though it's a five minute drive. I pick up all my groceries, <laughs> but I throw one little treat in the front seat so that I can eat it on the way home. Oh, that's nice. So I don't know if that's a hiding thing or what, but yesterday I just ate, bit into a pint of Haagen Dazs ice cream. I bit into it on my way home. I opened the thing up, and I held it in my hand. I had no utensils, and I bit into it. Like, that is just, that's sad. Yeah, but if I buy ice cream, there is something about, like, taking a bite of that ice cream. Because but in transit, from the store before you get home, it's, like, at the perfect softness. Because mm. it's mm. not melted too much, but it's not still frozen solid. Like, you can get a decent spoonful going if you try. 
Yeah. Yeah, Nikki said, if we don't hide it, we're screwed. Yeah, he's got like four kids. So I get that. Uh, Brandon Robinson, same thing, because he knows his wife and kids. Uh, Oh, he bought, no, I'm sorry. He buys certain foods because he knows his wife and kids won't eat them. So he knows he's safe with those. So he knows them well enough to do that. Uh, My girlfriend's family member lived with a guy that would not let her eat. What? Yeah, you you're not to allowed to guy. eat. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a deal breaker, right? That's a serious red flag. <laughs> right. That was from Matt. Now, Eric had an interesting theory. Maybe she's a squatter in someone else's house. Well, I think it goes along with what Lewis says: is if they have like a doorbell cam or something that yeah. they have remote access yeah. to, you don't want somebody seeing you coming in and out of the front door. So there's a reason you're going out the back window. Couldn't you have chose one without the air conditioning though? <laughs> Like it feels like it would have been an easier climb that you could have made. Yeah. All right. Uh, Doug Rogers said, reminds me of the one guy's wife in The Soprano. She was in the basement hiding with a bunch of snack cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan loves that you ate your ice cream on the way home. Oh, it was not easy. It was not an easy thing to just eat a pint of ice cream with my face. And no utensil. But, but it was I fun. I made it work, it baby. It was fun, wasn't it? I that's made hard. it work. That's hardcore, though. It is hardcore <laughs> weird, but I don't care. No, it's that's what commi- I wanted. That's commitment. It was my on-the-way-home snack, and man, I just shoved my my teeth and face right into that <laughs> thing. Seems, that's a commitment. Like, that's a, Got that's that a, right. That's a legit commitment. Yeah. Roger said, savage, no spoon. Right. No spoon, baby. Because <laughs> if you weren't that committed, you'd be like, eh. I can get this later when I have a spoon, but no, 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 no. I want None it now. I've got a perfectly good spoon in terms of it's my face is the spoon. Well, sometimes your face is better than a plastic spoon you would have got from the store because that bad boy breaks in the frozen ice cream. Then you're left <laughs> yeah. with a broken plastic spoon. And tell spoon. me how I'm supposed to eat ice cream on the way home with a holding it in one hand with a spoon in the other. You can't. You have to be inventive. You steer so with you just your use knee. your teeth. Steer with your knee. That's I <laughs> use my teeth, baby, and it worked great, and it was delicious. Now, Nick says he and his wife have a snack drawer in their bedroom. Okay. There That's you go. nice. Yeah. Little bedside snack. Like it. Yeah, Justin said three teenage boys. Nothing safe. <laughs> That's great. Because he said, I had a roommate that when I lived in Utah would always get high, eat my food, especially my ice cream. He would replace it with the cheapest ice cream you could find and say it was a fair trade. <laughs> That's funny. You gotta yeah, hide not a fair trade. No. Uh-uh. No, you cannot replace my homemade brand cookies and cream ice cream with like some store brand garbage. No, thanks. Not going to work. Here's Stained on the Blitz. 